Morning. Welcome to Trout with Lee. My name's Lee Pond and we're here on the second day at Pittsford Reservoir. Second day from the lockdown and I'm super excited. We've got fantastic conditions this morning. Overcast and a light breeze coming off of the water, on the water itself. Can't, it's just, yeah. Just, up, we've come from one side of the lake to the other and I've not seen one single fish rise yet. I can't quite understand it with these overcast conditions, but I'm sure that uh, we'll catch some on the dries at some point during the day. I've got three rods set up today, just to save time. I've got, oops, midge tip. Three nymphs and a, and a small size 12 booby on the point. Three crunches again, same as we had at uh, Ibrook last week. Green one on the point. Hello, there's a fish. <laughs> That's the first one I've seen all day. I'm going to cast him in a second. So I've got the midge tip, three nymphs and a small booby. Just to get them pulling. I've got the dry set up on a, a six weight floater. I've got a red Midas on the point and a big red on my second fly. I think that's enough. Don't have to be too clever today. We shouldn't, shouldn't have to be too clever today. The stocking policy is just carried on all the way through the uh, lockdown. So all the fish that have been designated for this reservoir have gone in and none have come out. So it shouldn't be difficult. Evidently, according to the bailiff yesterday, everybody that was fishing was in double figures. There was quite a number of predator anglers. I think there was only four out to uh, trout fishing. The rest were predator anglers. They were all desperate to get out as well. Um, but yeah, they was all, all over 10 fish each. So we'll give that a go a bit later, the dries. And I've also set the dreaded bung up. I, I, I love the bung, I don't know. I mean, people hate it. And, I mean, well, on its day when it's working, it's one of the quickest and best methods you can get. So I've set the bung up uh, from sort of two foot, three foot to the point fly, which is 10 foot, 11 foot down, something like that. I haven't checked the spacings. All with buzzers on it. So we'll give that, we'll give the, uh, We'll give the bung a go in a little while, but first of all, I'm going to start off with the washing line and the midge tip, just to see if we can get a pull. I do fancy the dries today. I mean, it's perfect conditions for them. But as I say, I've only seen, that's the first fish I've seen rise, that one that uh, just literally jumped out there. There's a few boats just to our uh, left-hand side. I'm going to Start off with the washing line and the, the midge tip. Oh, and the anchor rope. That 20, 22 foot leader on there, I guess. Straighten it up. Oh, there's another fish there, straight down in front of us. Wow. 90 degrees to the boat. Oh, I've started seeing a few now. And, oh, there's a fish. I wonder what that's taken. That was in that wind lane there. First. It's coming. Ooh. Oh, there's another fish just showed to my right there as well. While I'm playing this one. Mm. Wow, it's going well. Haven't seen it yet. <laughs> well, it's still going. <laughs> On the midge tip, washing line. I don't know what fly it's on yet. I've not been able to see it. He's angry. Cut the pound. He hasn't seen a fly for a few months. <laughs> yeah. In. Lovely. 
First one from Pittsford after the lockdown. Nice fish. Again, nothing spectacular, but uh, good, good two and a half pounds on the booby. What a surprise. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, oh, it's great. A lovely fish, look at that. Another cracking fish. Nice tail on him, it's whacking back. Go on, Daddy. All right, we've gone over to the bung. We don't need to cast this out a long way, really. But keep on that, Trev. Watch that go under. Oh, yep, first cast. <laughs> well, that was pretty instant, wasn't it? <laughs> I did say keep your eye on it. <laughs> wow. Mm, like a bad one, actually. <laughs> I might be on the buzzers, I think. Yeah, it's not big. It's not big and it's not clever. It's definitely not clever. It's just that, that buzzer. So that's taken the middle buzzer, which is, I would guess, about seven foot, eight foot, something like that. Oh dear, I tell you what, they don't want to come in. About the same size as the last one. And you can't bully him in. <laughs> that was very, very first cast with the, the boom. There you go. Oh, it's such a lovely clean fish. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh dear me, that is a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Bit of weed on him, but. So, we've had one on the washing line and one on the bung so far. I've got a funny feeling this bung's gonna outfish everything today by the looks of it. We'll see what happens. I know it was just first cast, could have been a fluke. But I was fishing the washing line, the washing line would have been fishing quite high. Now that fish, oh, look at that, just there. This method was sort of first sort of devised really for, by the lock style boys on the, on the larger waters. I think the first time I saw it used was Graham Pearson. And I started to use it on the small waters and they'd never really, I don't think anybody had really tried it there. I remember doing a feature for trout fishermen years ago at Chigborough and I put it on there and it was devastating. It really was, it was almost every cast you caught a fish. And now when you go to these small waters, it's like, oh, there's one, oh, you're, ah, just lost it. It's come off. <laughs> oh, hey, I got you this time, you bugger. Top dropper by the looks of that. And that's about three foot deep, that's all. Rainbow. Pulling hard. I'm sure that last one was on the top dropper as well. This is a nice fish. Nice clean fish again. Oh yeah, lovely. Yeah, he is, he's nice. Lovely. That's clear, clean as anything, isn't it? Look at it. See him miles away, that fish. Oh, that's a lovely fish. Look at that. Oh, that's a cracker. That is a lovely fish. Summer rainbow. This way, please. Thank you.
Oh, that's a lovely fish that. That's three pounds. Just under maybe. Yeah, not quite. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, that is a nice fish. That is three pounds all day long. Maybe a bit more actually. Oh yeah. Lovely fish. Classic Pittsford rainbow. Absolutely stunning fish. <laughs> Nearly. Let's put him back. Go. Straight back, look at that. <laughs>